welcome to our kindergarten room. I'm Miss Fernandez. I've been teaching for 32 years in the district and 29 of them I've been fortunate to be here at Wilcox. Um, I'm originally from Wisconsin so I'm a big Packer fan and um, I'm looking forward to next year. Patty? Hi, my name is Patty Schaefer. I have been in the district probably 15 years with six, six years in between to have my child. Um, I have a degree in early childhood education with a minor in psychology. And I can't wait to meet everybody this fall. We're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, there's just a few things I want to share with you. Um, at Wilcox, we work on three life skills that are actually really important through your entire life. One is that you can make good choices even when you're mad. Another is that you can do something you don't want to do, or if it's hard, you can still do that. And the last one is that you can be okay even when others are not okay. As you're getting ready this summer for kindergarten, please remember that any kind of writing is good writing. Work on your child's name that they recognize it and that they start it with a capital letter and then lowercase letters. Please remember that reading to your child every day is the number one indicator of literacy success for their lifetime. That reading time with you really makes a difference. You can practice counting just rotely and counting objects. If it's time to set the table, have your child count out how many forks do we need? How many spoons do we need? Practice cutting with the scissors moving away from their body and practice basic colors and shapes. Those things will have you ready to go in the fall to be part of our classroom. All right, so this is our main gathering area. We have a relatively new carpet. It's only been here a year or two. And we do calendar on this wall. We do reading. We do writing in the morning as a group. We have a special chair for that special week that your student is student of the week. We have a working word wall, a job chart, lots of things going on in just this area. Hi everyone. This area is also a lot of fun. This is our reading area. We have all of our new books over here that everybody can read at certain points in time. We have writer's notebooks. As you can see, there's a lot of kids stuff in here. We write an awful lot in this room. Everybody gets their own notebook and their own paper to write. And down here we have our, our, the kids each have their own set of books and they have their name on the front. And they each get 10 books according to their reading level. And they can read, we usually read them quite a few times during the day and everything. So this is a lot of fun. Can't wait for you guys to come join us. O'Malley and I'm a kindergarten teacher here at Wilcox. I have been teaching for District 186 for 22 years, two years in first grade and 20 in kindergarten. My philosophy of teaching is that learning can and should be fun. We try to make every day fun and exciting for the kids so that they want to come here and they want to work for us. We do a lot of games and songs and um, puzzles. Our goal is that they don't even realize they're learning and they like it. Hi, welcome to Wilcox. I'm Mrs. Lawrence. I'm the kindergarten teaching assistant here with Miss O'Malley. I've been at Wilcox in kindergarten for 16 years. I absolutely love this school. Your kids will love it here. I have four children that all attended Wilcox for kindergarten and they really enjoyed it here. And I can't wait to meet all of you when you come in the fall. 
Your child is going to learn so much this year, your mind will be blown. They are going to learn how to read, they're going to learn how to write. A paragraph on topic with punctuation, capitalization. You might not believe that now, but they are. We're going to start with learning their letters, all the sounds the letters make. Then they'll start learning words. They'll start learning how to read short, easy books. I see a cat. I see a dog. They'll just, we'll just keep pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. By the end of the year, you won't even believe how far they've come. In math, your kids are going to learn how to count to 100 by 1s, 5s, 10s. They'll count to 30 by 2s. They will learn how to add and subtract, tell time to the hour and half hour, um, create and extend patterns, sort and classify, um, coins, pennies, nickels, dimes. They'll learn to recognize them and their values. It's not like kindergarten when I was growing up, and it's not even like kindergarten when you were growing up and you're a lot younger than me. There's a lot to learn, but as I said earlier, we try to make it fun, and we, we get there in the end. It'll be fun, and they'll learn a lot, and you'll be blown away. Hi, guys. One of the things I wanted to talk about is getting ready for kindergarten and independence. We want the kids, and you want your kids, to feel confident when they come to school. Think about things like walking down to the bathroom. We want them to be able to take care of their personal stuff by themselves, be able to get their pants taken care of, their tights taken care of, skirts, dresses, that sort of thing. Think about zippers, snaps, buttons, and belts. Belts are always tricky in kindergarten. Please make sure that your kids feel confident and independent and taking care of themselves in the bathroom. Another thing I want you to think about is when the weather starts to get a little chilly and they're going to wear their jackets and their coats, we want them to be able to zip it up, button it up, whatever they need to do, and put it on independently. It will make them feel better about themselves too if they don't need help in these things. Another thing I want to talk about is fine motor. Some suggestions for practicing fine motor is scissors. So many kids come in and are not sure how to use scissors. Let them experiment with scissors. Get them some paper. Let them practice just cutting up paper. Draw a line for them to cut, a zigzag, some simple shapes so that they're ready for scissors when they come to kindergarten. Another great idea is to get some pennies and practice picking up the pennies and putting them into a piggy bank. That's great fine motor practice for them. You can also take a cup and some cotton balls and you could get some tweezers or even a clothespin and practice picking up things like cotton balls and putting them into a cup. That's great practice for fine motor. And Play-Doh really helps strengthen their hands and it helps strengthen their fingers so that they're ready for writing. So practice playing with Play-Doh, stretching Play-Doh, making balls, rolling it out. It really helps with their fingers being strengthened. Um, then you can also, if you don't have any Play-Doh at home, look online because there are some great homemade recipes for making Play-Doh too. The last thing I want to talk about is sitting on the carpet. Make sure your child is able to sit quietly and pay attention to a story or a lesson for at least five minutes. If they can do all these things, we will have a great year. Can't wait to see you. Bye-bye. I wanted to end this video talking to you about this crazy, unprecedented year. We don't even know what it's going to look like in the fall, but the thing I wanted to convey to you, to reassure you, is that we're both moms, and I'm a new grandma. We're going to love your babies like our own. The most important thing is always going to be their mental health and well-being. If it comes down to academics or them feeling good about themselves, it will always be their feelings. We will get them where they need to be academically, but I just wanted to reassure you that there'll be even more stress than normal little kindergartners coming in at the beginning. So we're, we know that and we're going to do everything we can to make this a loving, nurturing place for them to come every day, all day.